Social media has played an unprecedented role in covering the conflict between Israel and Palestine. X, however, has been at center stage. In October of 2022, Elon Musk famously completed his purchase of what was then known as Twitter. According to himself, Musk bought the social media platform to counter what he saw as unbridled and government-driven censorship. He said, and there was a lot of censorship going on, and we sort of uncovered a lot of that with the Twitter files, including a lot of government-driven censorship. However, ever since Musk took over Twitter, there have been raising concerns about an increase in anti-Semitism on the website. In 2023, Fortune published a research that argued anti-Semitism has increased by 105% on the platform since Musk's takeover. For a few months now, Musk has actually been embroiled in a battle with Jewish advocacy groups who are campaigning because of this said increase in anti-Semitism. And additionally, advertisers also started to show their concern. And of course, at the end of the day, X relies upon advertiser revenue in order to continue. Following the attack on October the 7th by Hamas, the unfiltered nature of X meant that it became a hub for access to news information from all around the world that was of course unfiltered. Very soon after the fighting upscaled, the EU launched an inquiry as to the alleged misinformation being shared on X. This is all very, very important background. Recently, Musk actually appeared to agree with a tweet on his X account that Jewish communities, Jewish people are pushing hatred towards whites. As you can imagine, the statement grew condemnation from all quarters of the world, including the White House. And in the days soon after, Elon Musk would go on a visit, on a trip to Israel, meeting Israeli officials, including Benjamin Netanyahu. On his trip, Musk was shown footage of the October the 7th attack, and he visited a place called Kibbutz Biri, in which he was shown a cot with bullets inside it. After seeing all of this, Musk said, Israel has no choice but to wipe out Hamas. Ironically, many ex-users challenged this narrative and they said that the bullets that Elon Musk was actually shown were not from a Hamas weapon, but they were actually from an Israeli weapon. Musk also mentioned in a conversation with Benjamin Netanyahu that Israel tries its best not to kill civilians. And of course, this is a point that many Palestinians would dispute. Many pro-Palestinian activists felt like Musk's trip to Israel was actually the beginning of pro-Israeli censorship on his platform, with the words, visit Gaza, trending on X. And we saw that Hamas leadership actually extended an invitation to Musk to visit Gaza and see the extent of the devastation that the Israeli carpet bombings have caused on the Gaza Strip. Following Musk's tweet, we saw many large advertisers abandoning the platform, pushing it into financial dire straits. In light of this, the trip as a whole and some of Musk's statements from Israel were seen by many as an attempt to regain advertiser confidence. But when questioned on this, Musk would respond defiantly by telling advertisers to go and F themselves. If, if somebody's gonna try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f yourself. But go yourself. <laughs> Is that clear? For now, X remains one of the main platforms that people are getting their information from regarding the current conflict. Time will tell whether we will see increased censorship towards any side and whether X will survive through advertiser boycotts.